Welcome back to week two of Clutter Free January. Last week I showed you in my kitchen, I cleaned out my spice cabinet and organized it and that was a weight off my shoulders. This week we are doing clothing. So if you're new to this series, this is the Minimal Moms Clutter Free January. There will be a playlist down below where you can find all of the videos for the week. So this week you will find tons of awesome creators making videos on getting rid of the clutter in the clothing department. So I'm gonna share with you clearing out my wardrobe and showing you my winter uniform. I always have a uniform. It is something that I do naturally. I've always done it. I don't really mean to do it, I just do it. I've never really tried to be a minimalist on clothing. It's just how I end up. Even if I have tons of clothes, I will only ever wear the ones that I like the most. I think most people do that as well, which means that you'll find yourself pushing past all of the things that you don't like. You keep them because they're nice, but not ever really wear them. And I do that same thing, so every year I have to go through my clothing. I pull everything out and just look at things, even if they're nice. I had so many items this year that I packed away in a box for Goodwill that were nice. They were name brand, I picked them up from Thread Up secondhand, but they were still just no holes, name brand, but for whatever reason, the fit or maybe just what it was, like I have in here, a rain jacket, or not really a rain jacket, but kind of like a slick jacket. I never wear something like that. It was beautiful color, no rips, no holes, but I just, I don't wear that. I'll either wear a hoodie or a sweater or my coat. I never wear a jacket like that. So I finally had to part with it, even though it was beautiful. A few pairs of jeans that had holes and rips. I had a pair of jeans that just don't fit right, and I've always just, I don't know why you keep things like that. So I cleared everything out. Normally, in the summer, I have all of my clothes in my armoire where I can get to them easiest. So in the summer, I will put the winter clothes in the bottom drawer and then the summer on the left portion of my armoire and then in the winter, I'll swap them out. So this year, I took all of my sundresses and shorts and put them all in that bottom drawer. Now I did keep a pile of t-shirts for the main side because I will wear some t-shirts in the winter as well. Now we live in an 1860s farmhouse. We don't have any closets. And so all of my clothing is stored in one half of the armoire and in the bottom drawer. I don't have clothing in the basement. I don't have any other dressers. My husband is less of a minimalist with clothing. So he has the other half and then he has a dresser as well. But I am able to keep mine all in there and I actually don't even find it really to be a sacrifice. I find that when I get extra clothing, I can never find what I really want to wear. And something that I loved last year, I don't always love it this year. And so it just never makes sense to me to have more than I want to wear right now because like I said, next year, it probably won't even be in my style anymore. I'm constantly changing my own style. The style changes around us. It functions for me differently based on pregnancy, nursing, whatever, and so I just keep what I currently wear. So to organize my side, on the bottom, I put in all of my hoodies and cozy, just lounging around the house type of sweatshirts and sweaters. Up from that, I kept, I think, about four or five pairs of jeans that I like and that fit well and don't have holes. Up from that, I put in my t-shirts, tank tops, and a few long sleeve shirts. 
And then I use the top drawer for all of my really bulky sweaters because it's a tall drawer. I can fit several of them in there. So I kept some things for just work and lounging around the house like jeans and t-shirts and hoodies, but my uniform. So the thing that I'm wearing most days, even when I'm just around the house with my family, I kept it really comfortable, really easy. But my uniform this year is corduroy skirts, sweaters, and leggings. Now the reason I decided to do this for my uniform this year is I really wanted to not have to change out of my comfy leggings every night, but I also don't like just wearing leggings because you know if I need to run somewhere or somebody comes over, they just aren't substantial. They definitely show off way too much. And so I was trying to think about how could I transition my PJs to a real outfit in as few steps as possible. And the way to do that is to put a skirt on over the comfy leggings and then a sweater on over a tank top. So that's pretty much what I wear every day. I will take off the skirt and the sweater and go to bed. And then when I get up, I'll put a skirt and sweater back on. Tons of combinations with my about 10 sweaters and two skirts and two or three pairs of black leggings. I have so many combinations. They look really great even with an apron over it because most days I will put an apron on so that I can rub my dirty hands and not get my skirt really dirty so I don't have to wash it that often. Most every single day I'm wearing some combination of a skirt, a sweater, and an apron and I can switch it all up. I just, it is probably my favorite uniform yet actually. I got my two skirts at Old Navy and then my Leggings, actually, my favorite leggings, this is not sponsored by Old Navy, it just so happens that my younger sister introduced me to the best leggings. She's one of those girls that wears name brand, like Lululemon, and I never could spend that kind of money on leggings, but she said that these that we found there are just like Lululemon. The great thing about it is they have pockets, which is perfect because I find myself collecting things throughout the day, like my kids' Legos, or my phone or whatever and just putting them in the pocket and so that's my favorite thing about them. I only have two pairs that are those particular kind and so I usually just always have one pair in the wash. I do have a few more pairs of black leggings but I don't wear them unless I have to because I love the comfort level and the pockets on these. I am also a minimalist with shoes. I pretty much wear the same boots every single day. I have my work boots and then I have my boots that are my nice go out of the house boots, which they're, they were just probably like $20. But that's another reason why I like this uniform because I never really know what you're supposed to do with jeans and tall zip up boots because they don't really fit inside of them. But then if I roll them up, my legs look really short, and so I, I don't even know what the fashionable way is or what you're supposed to do with boots. I haven't figured that out. And with leggings, it's easy to tell. You just put them over the leggings. So it's my favorite thing. So I really love the way that looks. All right, make sure to check out the playlist below with all of the clutter-free January videos. Last week, we did kitchen, so you can go through and watch everyone decluttering their kitchen. It'll inspire, motivate you if you're on a clutter-free journey this month. And this week, of course, go look at everyone's videos on how they are minimizing and getting rid of the clutter in their clothing. So I don't know what everyone's doing. Maybe some people are doing kids' clothes. Uh, that's an area that I have to visit at least four times a year to get us down to kind of a manageable amount of clothing. You can go check that out and hopefully be inspired with everyone in the playlist. If you are coming over to my channel from anyone else doing Clutter Free January, welcome. Thank you for coming here. You can follow along on my channel for from scratch recipes, natural living, and a handmade home. We are making over an 1860s farmhouse and homestead. So if you want to follow along with that journey, we've made a ton of progress in two years, but we have a lot more to do. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love to continue to connect with you and share our family's simple life. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.